Okay, so for today's routine, I need you to work on your waving freestyle. So to elaborate this a little bit, if you go back and check your tutorial for your arm waves, that will be covered in that one. But what I'm covering in this one is your body wave. Now I always find, even when I learned this myself, is that it feels a little bit weird when you're learning it first, but then when you flow through it and you use in freestyle, it totally makes sense. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the body into shoulders, hips, knees, and feet. So let me go through it. First of all, you roll your shoulders back. Now if I turn sideways, it's just a simple roll back. But what you'll find is when you roll your shoulders back, it sticks your chest and your belly out. So they're the next. Roll your shoulders back, then you turn your stomach inwards. Or if you look at my shoulder blades, I've rounded my shoulder blades. Or from the front, I've contracted my chest. So I've gone from a roll into a contraction. Now, watch my legs this time as well, because you'll see I'll drop height. So roll into a contraction, so I bent my knees. From the side, I roll, contract, and I drop into those knees. So I've got this like rounded position here going on. Again, if these are new moves to you, your body's gonna be like, what are you doing? So you gotta override that to really move through it. It's just a new move that your body's learning. Okay, my body did the same. So shoulders, chest, and then as you go down, you're gonna turn your knees inwards. Now watch my heels. The heels go out, your knees go in. This will be easier to see from the front, okay? So lifting up, your knees go in, your heels go out. Now this is so weird. So if you haven't done this position, and normally in dance, we would totally discourage having knees turned in, but you'll see my knees are still pointing the same way as my toes. So if you know me, if we're sitting in this position here, like in roly-poly squat, I'm always about the knees over your toes. So to turn the knees in, you gotta turn the toes in. All right, okay, so just practice that. Turn the knees in, heels out. Knees in, heels out. One step, okay, knees in. Now this time, turn your heels all the way out. Okay, so diamond shape if you've done ballet. So turn it in, <laughs> turn it out. You might wanna pause the video here and just work on that in and out position because you wanna get it so that it flows, even with a nice little ripple in and ripple out. Okay, so we've got shoulders, chest, knees, turn them in, and then to come up, you just reverse it. Heels in, straighten up the legs, and when you straighten up the legs, you really have to pull your belly up, if you turn sideways, you stick your bum in to come up. So as you straighten them up, in, and then that sticks your belly out, chest out, roll your shoulders back in. So here, we've got shoulders, chest, bellies, knees, turn in. Then heels, legs, belly, chest, come up. Shoulders, chest, bellies, knees, turn in. Heels, legs, belly, chest, and up. Okay, this is your weight. Now when you speed it up, now remember, when you're learning a new dance move, you learn slow. This is how the brain and body work together. And all you need to do to be able to do it faster is to get more practice. So always when I'm teaching in the school, show me faster, show me it faster. The ability to do it slow actually shows me more control than if you just speed through it. So remember, it's not about how fast you can do it because sometimes that even doing your freestyles in slow shows more control than if you just speed through it. So get it slow first, all right? What you can do fast, what you can do slow, you can do fast if you just practice it more. Okay, so one more time. We've got shoulders, chest, belly, then the knees, heels in, legs, belly, and come up. Shoulders all the way down, turn it in. Heels, belly, all the way up. Okay, I'll turn sideways again. Ready, and. Shoulders, chest, belly, and up. Turn it in. Ooh, sometimes making a noise helps. And that's just how my brain works. Okay, now, where do you go with this? Okay, so if you've got your arm wave, you drop your fingers down, elbows come out to the side, and then you push your shoulders. Now, do you see what's happened to my shoulders here? Because this is your starting point. So I've got fingers go down, Elbows out to the side. As I send my arms out, my shoulders come up, 
and then that goes into my body wave, and then elbows push it out. So just like you have fingers, wrists, elbows, shoulders, then you have got to go down the body, come back up, shoulder, elbow, wrists, out. Same thing, just brought it to the front. Fingers, elbows, shoulders, all the way down, all the way back up, shoulders, send the energy forward and out. And I don't know how good your imagination is, but for this, for me, I imagine a little ball of energy, like little stars or little balls that go out my toes, straight back out again. And that helps me visualize the movement to get it to really connect. You don't want to have like your hands going and then you forget about your elbows and then it comes out your knees and you've missed your spine. You want to really go slowly so it travels from your fingertips through your elbows, shoulders, all the way down your spine, out your heels, and then get sucked all the way back up again. So from sideways, fingers, elbows, shoulders, all the way down, all the way back up and out. Okay, so combine these in with your arm front wave. What I love to do is, when I'm training this, is to take one arm, then travel straight down the body, come back up the body and out the other arm. In the arm, down the body, at the heels and out. I also like to do the one-legged one. So I go fingers, down the body, at the heel. Only one heel comes back in, it comes out the center. Fingers, all the way down, so diagonally across, at the other heel, come in and out the front. So there's absolutely loads of things you can do with this now when you've practiced. And keep practicing until you find your own way of doing it. Okay, so that's your body wave. Go back and check out your arm wave and then you'll be ready for our routine today.